Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or have not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. This is the first BWOW I am doing since announcing my no buy for the rest of 2020. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards, but essentially I am on a strict no frivols by until the end of 2020. So these videos, I'm still going to be putting them out as usual, but they are most likely going to be turning into more anti-haul than will I buy it, because I'm going to try and talk myself out of buying everything that I may find interesting. <laughs> I've got a bit of a, a more out there look. I threw my hair in a bun because I just didn't want to deal with it. You know, it's Sunday night. I don't want to deal with it today. I did a neutral eye look with a pop of blue on the lower lash line. And then I have a red liquid lipstick, which is my only update for this video. This is the Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Beso. And I 100% bought this because AOC did a tutorial where she said that she wore the liquid lipstick from Stila in Beso. So I went out and I bought the Stila liquid lipstick in Beso. <laughs> 100% so that's why I have it. I'm wearing my uh, I got a custom flower crown made a few years ago that I've just had like on display back here if you zoom in but this is actually a Dionysian inspired flower crown there's like grapes and there's like blood splattered everywhere and I thought it'd be appropriate for this Halloween week. So there we go I think that's the breakdown we're gonna go through trend mood and see what we see. <laughs> So I'm just now seeing a sneak tease for a new Huda Beauty big eyeshadow palette. I have to say, I've never actually tried any of like the big Huda Beauty palettes, like the 18 shades. I've only tried the small ones. Um, I really like the small smoky obsessions palette and the small light nude obsessions palette. Those are both actually really good, but I've never tried any for big palettes. and I've really never been like super tempted to try. So, you know, this like color story would have to be really unique to get me like interested so at this point meh you know it's your favorite editing monica here and uh this palette was finally like shown it's not out yet but it was released and so this is it but um okay so the color story is fairly boring but what the hell is happening in the bottom left hand corner it looks like it looks like it's molding. It looks disgusting. I have no idea what that is. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not tempted by this at all. So I will continue my streak of uh, never buying big Huda Beauty palettes. All yeah. right. So I can, honestly, I cannot remember if I ever if I already went over this. So this is the Kindness Vegan Beauty with Beauty Vegan Kindness. They're coming out with lashes and like this holiday palette, which looks like a less exciting version of her anniversary palette of her i shouldn't respond like that because she's no longer part of the company of their holiday palette like the 10 year anniversary palette which i still actually have i was gonna sell it and now i'm like holding on to it like should i keep it i don't know i gotta think about it but it is it looks like a more disappointing version of that palette is what i'm trying to say the lipstick honestly the little mini lipstick set looks kind of interesting i love mini lipstick products so you, you can you can easily get me with a good mini set, but t thankfully, <laughs> now I'm saying thankfully, nothing in this collection or release is like that tempting. Ooh, and surprising absolutely nobody, ColourPop has some new palettes coming out. Just like, can they like chill? What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm looking at these ColourPop palettes. I'm like trying to film my BeWow, right? I get this random text from my boyfriend and all it says is, how do you feel about punching people in the face? I'm going to screenshot it. I have no idea what the context is here, but I am intrigued and I am tickled pink. That is hilarious. I need to know the context there. So anyway, oh, getting back to the palettes. Um, <laughs> these, this, they look boring. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Okay, so they're boring and I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, that's so... <sighs> Hello again. I now find it hilarious that I cannot go two days. So I filmed this on Sunday. I'm editing this Tuesday night. I can't go two days without ColourPop hinting at a release, premiering it, 
and then like releasing it within the same week it's kind of bananas so anyway there's this new baby yoda palette which i have to i have to give them credit like baby yoda is very on trend and so this was a really good collab idea um i didn't even get hopes or expectations up for this just because i've seen how the rest of their collabs have been like the hocus pocus and everything honestly they've just been crap right so i had no expectations for this palette it came out the colors it's just it's just grain brown it's like eh, it's like meh it's gonna be pain in the ass to get on launch day so no one's gonna like a lot of people aren't gonna be able to get this and the only thing that i'm actually like really like about this is like the cover art the cover art is adorable so i actually i downloaded just the picture <laughs> and i'm gonna probably keep it on my phone so that's it um to be honest i don't think i'd really recommend this especially because from what i've heard and seen on youtube their quality for their limited edition stuff has like not been that great so you're not even getting like the good color pop formula out of these so personally i would just recommend you stay away from these and then maybe just download the cute like wallpaper that color pop posted on instagram instead <laughs> okay so this is the palette that almost immediately made me regret my no buy decision because i kid you not the day i decided on a no buy and i was planning out you know filming my announcement video and everything this palette came out and was sneak peeked this is the new natasha denona holiday palette and this is limited edition this is the what is it actually called i don't try chrome palette i want this palette so bad but i'm not gonna buy it i'm not it looks gorgeous basically so from what i've seen from people talking about this palette if you liked the chromium liquid shadows people are hype for this palette if you did not like the chromium liquid shadows you're avoiding this palette like smoky glow she hated the chromium liquid shadows and so she said she's not interested in the palette i adore those liquid shadows i have all of them and so i really want this palette i can't though so what what my plan is for this if I still really want it, because it should theoretically still be available throughout the holiday season, I always get Sephora gift cards for my birthday, and I do have my boyfriend, <laughs> and we are we are going to exchange gifts. So if I still want this by my birthday, which is three days before Christmas, either I will use a gift card to get this, or I will ask <laughs> ask Alvin to get this as like my one birthday slash Christmas present. It'll be together, because it is going to be a lot but oh boy do i want this palette and like i like i'm not even kidding like the day i decided to do my no buy this released and it was all over instagram and people were tagging people and i was like i made a mistake <laughs> but i didn't like i gotta stick to my guns and that's the whole point of this so i'm not gonna like mm, but i want this palette i want this palette so bad this looks adorable and again if i wasn't a no buy i would probably pick these up these are new putty blushes from the elf cosmetics line and oh boy do i want to try these out um so it looks like they're coming out with like a whole putty like line based on their putty primers which i have to say their original putty primer is fantastic i love that primer so i'm really intrigued by these blushes they've got a, a a pretty good shade range they've got eight different shades here and i i really like the like cream blush trend now that i'm like and on vogue with cream blushes i love cream blushes so i like seeing like more of these come out and i excuse you car i really like the fact that now we're getting more affordable brands coming out with these cream blushes so i'm intrigued but i'm not gonna buy it because i'm on a no buy so no hopefully this is a part of their permanent collection which it looks like it is so eventually i will get my hands on these okay so this is a brand i've never heard of but when i saw this palette i was a bit intrigued to me this looks like a am i not focused to me this looks like a, a grungier um benefit is it benefit i can't remember if it's benefit the balm it is the balm okay there we go i forgot the balm existed for a bit but this palette it reminds me of a grungier balm palette like do you remember how those balm palettes like in the balm of your hands or the balm palettes all about matte these like especially the split pans really reminded me of the balm and i really actually like the color story here it's grungy i love on the top row that green the olive green and like that mustard yellow those are calling out to me and i actually you know here normally i'm not a fan of split pans but i actually like the way that this palette looks and this is from unicorn cosmetics which i've never heard of it looks like to it looks like it's a uk brand because the price is in pounds but this actually looks fascinating but i won't buy it once again 
So Fenty's holiday collection. I've seen some like mini kits that are coming out, but this looks like there's like a new snap shadow palette that's coming out with some minis of the mascara, the bronzer, and the lip gloss. I have to say, my experience with the snap shadows have been very hit or miss. I liked the smoky palette, but like the peach pal- or was it- I got two palettes, a smoky one and a peach pun, and one worked really well and the other one worked like trash. So like to 100% be honest, I don't know which one is which. But that really has turned me off of the snap shadows. And especially here, like I see that there's like a purple in here. I have no idea how these shades are actually going to look because their swatches are photoshopped to all hell. Like I know I don't trust their swatches. So really, to be honest, I am not super interested in anything Fenty holiday related. Kylie came out with a new collection, which is called the Leopard Collection. And I have to say the palette actually looks kind of cute. I'm not interested in any of the lip glosses or blah, 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 but the palette itself, I just, I like these grungy tones. This feels like an actual fall palette that's appropriate for fall, right? I like the grungy, like there's a yellow, there's a, there's like a blue, but it's not like a bright blue that seems out of place. It's like a, I don't want to just say a grungy blue, but it feels like a grungy blue. And I like the fact that there's actually, it looks like a matte black in there. This palette looks so nice. But I'm not gonna get it. I see. Here we go. The minute I announce a no buy, there's like a bunch of stuff I want to buy. But no, this does look intriguing. I like the textures. I like the color story. But I'm sure if I were to actually go through my collection and do the work, I would find that I already have all of these shades. So I know I don't need this, but I actually have to give them, give Kylie like the minimum amount of kudos, because this is actually an interesting palette. And I have to say that a lot of her recent releases have not been interesting at all. But I have to say, that palette. The rest of the collection, I could like pass but like that palette actually looks really interesting all right so here's another another i don't know palette where ColourPop is trying to become morphe this is a gigantic cool toned eyeshadow palette now i'm i kind of want to say they saw the jeffree star cosmetics release and then duped it because it took them this long and it looks kind of similar but it actually has like some depth and dimension to it that the jeffree star did not but like, who needs this big of a palette? Again, like I've got a couple of big palettes like that, but like most of the big palettes, like I've decluttered. Like I don't think I have any other Morphe palettes except for the original Jaclyn Hill palette, which is like, as much as I hate to say it, the original palette was a good palette. Like, uh, but like, like it's 2020. Who needs this gigantic? I feel like they're moving on to the next like round of Gen Zers, you know, everyone who's like becoming teenagers and into the, you know, into that age. Because I remember back when I first got into makeup, I was like, oh, those big palettes, those are a good deal. I could follow tutorials. I I'm getting bang for my buck here. I feel like they're trying to take advantage of like the next generation, right? But, but even then, like there's, there's more options, there's better options, there's more affordable options out there. So, meh. Ooh, grungy. See, if it's a grungy eyeshadow palette, it just hits me in the certain part of my heart. I've not heard of this brand either. This is called XO Beauty. I don't know if this is, I don't know where this is based out of, but it's called the Native Palette. And like that color story and those grungy tones, mwah, just mwah. But I'm not going to get it, of course. Okay, so this release, I was actually tagged in this on Instagram. And this is another thing where it's like I saw this either right before or right after I decided to do my no buy and I immediately regretted it because I want these so bad. <laughs> these are cream blushes from Milani. Look at these shades. Um, uh, I love Milani blushes. I love their baked bronzers and I want to try these. I'm really hoping they're a permanent part of their collection. They look affordable. They're like $8.99. Mm, please be permanent and I can try them next year but like oh boy I want to try these so bad <laughs> okay so let's switch gears and go into something that's just like a, a bleh release this is from KKW and this is the new uh, opalescent collection I guess I don't know meh it's yeah it's just meh it's just meh nothing about this is jumping out to me the purples in this palette look flat I'm just, mm, I don't know, yeah. 
again I feel like I've like throughout my years uh, in the makeup community and on YouTube I've like tried to talk myself into buying stuff from KKW Beauty and just nothing <laughs> there's just nothing that I've I could even talk myself into getting you know so like yeah so it looks like Huda Beauty is coming out with a new foundation stick I have only found one stick foundation that actually works for me, and it's from Makeup Revolution. It's actually a really affordable stick foundation that I really enjoy. But I tried, like, the ABH stick foundation. I tried a few other stick foundations, and none of them worked for me. It just, they were too dry in my dry areas. They were too slippery and, like, not sticking in my oily areas. It just wasn't for me. But the Makeup Revolution stick foundation has worked for me year-round, and I love that thing. So because I have such an affordable stick foundation I can use... I really don't see myself gravitating towards any other higher end stick foundations, you know? So like this is a pass. All right, I'm going to talk about this just get to give you a friendly reminder that you do not have to spend a lot of money just to get a chapstick. <laughs> These are new lip balms from MAC Cosmetics. They do, they do not have a price here because I'm sure they're going to be way too pricey. You can get a good chapstick like at your Walgreens, at your Target. I love the Blistex. They're a couple of dollars. They come in packs of two. That is my go-to. You do not have to spend a lot of money just to get a good chapstick. This is your PSA. Oh man, these are pretty, but no way in hell would I actually buy these. These are refillable compact powders from Estee Lauder, and they're like in collaboration with Disney, so each one of them looks like gorgeous. Like, I would definitely want that Beauty and the Beast one, but it, am I going to spend the money on it and use it? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> It looks pretty, it'd be more of a collection piece than anything else, and to be 100% honest, there isn't much that I buy just to be, like, a for decoration piece in my collection. I like to actually use the makeup I bring in. Once I pan a product, I, I will put it on display. So I've got several empty, like, compacts and eyeshadow palettes that I keep around because I've panned it and I like to keep the packaging, but, like, I don't like to buy something specifically to not use it and just have it on display, if that makes sense. Yes! Okay, so I, I will not be buying any of these this year, but I am very excited to see Ulta coming out with like these kind of favorite skits that like Sephora is well known for. So this is the lip lineup. So this is a set of like little mini lipsticks and lip glosses and yeah, I would definitely prefer to get these kind of kits from Ulta because of their better rewards program and their better prices than Sephora. So I want to see I want to see them expand. I want to see mascara kits. I want to see kits with drugstore and higher end products. I want I want all of it. Ulta, please give it give it to us, please. All right, and then to round up this video, I uh, see here's the bad thing about doing these bi-weekly. I have kind of forget if I've talked about things, so please forgive me if I have. But this is a new release from M Cosmetics, and this is a cushion foundation. Now, first of all, I'm on a no-buy. I probably won't get this. Second of all, I don't think I've ever actually bought a cushion foundation. Maybe I should look into that next year, but anyway. Third of all, I still never got confirmation as to whether or not Emily Fawn, who... Not Emily Fawn. I still never got confirmation whether Michelle Fawn is anti-vax or not which would really inform my decision to purchase from this brand or not. So that is still up in the air. But as I'm on a no buy, I won't look, I won't buy this anyway. But I would definitely look, I want to see some reviews. I want to see people wearing this. I want full day wear tests. I'm just interested because I know a lot of people are hyped about this and I do actually like the shade range. It looks like there's only six shades, but it's a good gradient between, you know, the light and the deep shades because nothing's worse than a small shade range where it's like six shades and then four of them are like, vanilla pudding you know all right so that is everything for this edition of the be wow let me know down below if i miss anything if you want me to answer down in the comments below with my opinion or i will save it for the next bi-weekly wish list or a washout i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you leave and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye